Hello people of Earth, this is Dan with my look back video for 2019. We had so much snow in Colorado in the early part of the year, avalanches happened all over the state and even closed Interstate 70 a few times. We had so much snow in Crested Butte that our boys were once more storm away from getting on the roof. Of course this made for fantastic skiing as you can imagine. Uh, the runoff was still going strong into the beginning of the summer. And since we had so much snow, it uh, caused a super bloom of wildflowers. Crested Butte is the wildflower capital of Colorado. That also means that we are the pollen capital of Colorado. <coughs> I also bought a 2014 Honda Valkyrie in May and started writing and documenting my rides in a YouTube channel called Ride of the Valkyrie, Dan Lockhart. There are 17 episodes out there from my 2019 rides. We had visitors from uh, with our friends and relatives too. Uh, Mark and Maria, Dave and Carissa, Kurt, Teresa and Megan, and Roxy and Carl. Thanks for visiting. I hope you enjoyed your visits and you'll come back and see us again soon. I got to go out to the Black Canyon several times 2019. It's my favorite park to visit. Uh, we had several rainbows around the neighborhood over the summer and it was really weird because they kept on coming back into the same place uh, many times and I got some great shots. Uh, Karen and I went on the Summer Cabins Trail, Swampy Pass Trail, and Lake Irwin hikes. It was very beautiful with all the wildflowers. The 2019 Colorado snowpack was at 751% of normal Wow, imagine that. Anyway, uh, I rode my motorcycle all around Crest Butte to the Red Bridge Campground south of Gennison, the road to Gothic, the Taylor Canyon, Monarch Pass, and the newly paved Cottonwood Pass, Ohio Creek Pass, Kebler Pass, and to the Black Canyon and the Royal Gorge. I did close to 2,000 miles this season. I had a lot of fun walking our boys, Pete, our new puppy, Strat and Pepler, back from the camp for coffee, coffee shop every morning. Karen would drop us off and we'd walk back. The neighborhood looked great with all the wildflowers. I also got the telescopes out quite a bit this year too. Uh, I got an awesome shot of the Sea of Tranquility in honor of Apollo 11 and their major anniversary this year. All of the trees were much healthier this year due to all the snow and the wildflowers the wildfires really started much later in the season. There was one wildfire uh, south of Salida that got started uh, late summer. Anyway, the, the fall was spectacular this year. Karen and the boys and I took our camp over to Redstone for a few days. We always have so much fun camping over there. And I got a few really great shots at Marble, and we got to eat at the Slow Groovin Barbecue, which is one of our favorite places to go to. Ohio Creek, McClure, and Kebler Passes were outstanding this fall. Absolutely beautiful. Um, we had a really cold stretch. It started in the first week of October. It was below zero uh, Fahrenheit, minus 17 Celsius for a week or so. The winter snow so far this year is probably about average, but it's starting to pick up. Uh, Karen and I also got a ski in the 2019 Santa Ski Day. We had a blast doing that. That almost didn't happen because the organizer uh, canceled it uh, like a couple weeks before it was supposed to happen and another guy picked it up the week before it was supposed to happen and he got it all organized and it had a pretty fair turnout considering that it was uh, only a week before. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed my video and if you've made it this far, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and let you enjoy the rest of the video. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.